playing with coastline. Adding shadows, um, building up the, or building, burying the alcoves, building them up, what do you want to call it? Building up the shadows inside the alcoves. So, building up the negative. But the best way to put it, I guess. This area, I'm not sure yet. Uh, it's probably a cave. I'll put some rocks and stuff around it on the outside just to kind of figure out what I'm going to do with it, really. I don't really know yet. All right, that's not... It ran out of paint. Paint's gray I'm using, again, is like a toothpaste thickness, and it runs out kind of fast when you start smishing it. Sm smishing it, yes, that's a word. Okay, come down a little bit. It's a little dirty. It's a little too pristine, as you can call it, <laughs> on the edge there. Uh, same with here. Let's get a little bit, I didn't really do this last night, I did basics. I just want to get a little bit deeper of a color, of a stain right now. When it, so it looks a little bit older, a little bit more weathered, a little bit more beaten up. Again, dry brushing, you know, numerous times. Dry brushing, uh, you load up a brush and you brush it and you keep on brushing it until it's almost completely, you can see that's called dry brushing. Sorry, that's called dry brushing. Ah, uh, that's like too much. But you load up a brush and you, until so it's almost completely non-existent. That's dry brushing. It's called dry brushing because it's almost literally a dry brush. And you just drag it numerous times, and each time you drag it, it leaves a little bit of paint. So the more times you drag it, the deeper your shadow is going to be, the darker your paint is going to get. You can see it slowly, slowly starting on the top. I don't know if you can. I can, but it's tough to pick it up on the phone. But see a little bit of a dark piece there now that wasn't there before. 